What's good everybody, it's me, Man Destroyers. Back at you with another Forza 7 video. Uh, today, we're doing something a little different here. Something that I used to do, which uh, was actually quite enjoyable for me, and I hope quite enjoyable for you guys. But it's the, uh... Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Just put a V8 in it series. It's coming back now. Now, I don't know what to throw. You know what? Let's just, uh, let's just go to Nissan. Let's just make this easy. Let's pick a car I haven't bought yet. So we got here. We got S15. Done the wide body S15. Ooh. We got the Kuki. Okay, so I'm assuming the Zenki I can only get. I'm assuming I can, I can only get the Zenki from leveling up or something for Zathon, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Let's see here. I think we're just gonna go with the color just because we're only throwing a V8 in. Damn, that red is nice. That green, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, let's go with the green. Can we buy stock parts? Thank you. None of this homo blah, 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 blah. Please, thank you. I don't need it in my life. God damn, I need a new chair. The chair's uncomfortable. All right, um, yeah. Probably the easiest build ever. You ready for this? Engine swap. V8, bye. Done, done, that's it. Now we just go figure out how the hell this works. Now, because of this long ass load time, <sighs> hmm, where do we want to go? Let's see, let's see how long the load time is, and then we'll decide if I'm gonna, you know, cut the video or not. Um, hmm, I guess we can start off on Silverstone. You know what? Why not? Why not? It'll make it easy. I haven't done this type of video in a while, so okay, cool. We'll leave you here. Let's see if there's a long load time. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Not bad. It really wasn't bad. It's been worse. I will say that. It's been worse than that. Ugh. You know that like just wake up feeling when your nose is all like dry but runny? No, just me? Okay. Let's go on down test drive and let's just drive it. Let's see. Let's see how she does. Let's see if we can't just throw it. And man, it is dark. Switch to daytime. I don't know if you guys can see them. Damn, what a sky! Look at that. The clouds actually look 3D. I'm about to run into some cones when we were looking at the clouds. Okay, it's really dark. Those clouds are moving fast. Those clouds are fucking with me right now. Okay, we'll do one run tonight, and then we're gonna switch it to daytime because. Perfect drift in my ass. Okay, it is way too dark. Can't see a thing. I'm still yawning. I just woke up. I'm still yawning. I don't. Sorry. Okay. 
No, 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 no. I don't, I don't need it to be easier, okay? And here we go, loading again, just because it changed to daytime. Are you kidding me? Okay, wasn't that, wasn't that long? Was there an update while, in the past couple days when I haven't played? Like, what's going on here? Oh my god, my knuckles. I need to crack them. No. And, yes. Oh no, probably should have left it in fourth there. I feel like I could get this thing to wheelie on stock suspension. Like. <laughs> Having way too much fun with that. There we go. Okay, if I can manage to stay out of lock, she won't be bad. I probably will, you know, update this car at some point so I don't just have a bone stock S14 chilling with a V8 in my garage. I wonder if like a car that's so basic like this could be competitive. <sighs> Probably not, cause I think I think they have to have like the ESDA cars have to have sport tires and etc. That's my biggest problem right now is on transition. I mean, even th this car and the other car, I have that problem quite a bit. But on transition, I either under underestimate the weight transfer of the car, or I just like let it ride like I'm doing with this car. When I say underestimate, that's when you guys see me like straighten out on transition a lot. My head says dying. Are you kidding me right now? Wow, a car that'll do a standing burnout. I'm I'm amazed. Hmm, that was bad. Should have gave it gas a little sooner. There we go. I wonder if, if the VA added more weight 
I know that's a, that, that's, that sounds like a stupid question, but believe it or not, the SR, I think the SR is actually heavier than an LS, but this is both motors without fluid, if I'm not mistaken. Cluster lights there. Wow, I think that was my best run right there in this view. How does that work? How are my tires doing on this? Considering they're like stock tires. No way. These tires just like don't get hot? Dude, you can see. You can see the weight is leaning on the driver's side right now. Now watch, look. Driver's side is lifted a little bit there. Wow. GG, Forza. GG. Being able to see all of that. Yo, what's up with the uh, mileage? Yeah, for real. What's up with the, what's up with the mileage in this car? 165,954 miles. 915 on the trip. What the fuck? Who's 240? Did you guys scan? I need to know because that's kind of low mileage. like six miles on this car what's going on right now okay that entry was uh I got lost in my thoughts there I thought I was in a, a built car with suspension and some stuff and uh, didn't work out Gonna get motion sickness. completely different bumper view is something else oh, oh my god okay well I think that's gonna do it guys for the just pretty gate in it uh, episode one I guess you could say on Forza 7 with the kooky s14 the 6.2 v8 hope you guys enjoyed why don't you guys try this it's actually kind of fun it's me man destroyers I'm getting out of here I'll see you guys later